Hello everyone and welcome to your second Japanese mini lesson. Today we're going to be learning some basic Japanese phrases that you might use in your day-to-day -day life. Let's start off by learning how two people greet each other when they meet for the first time. Let's think about how two people meeting for the first time would greet each other in English. The first person to speak would probably say something like, Hello, I'm, followed by their name, and nice to meet you. In Japanese, we might say something like, Hajime mashite, name, followed by des, dozo yoroshiku. Let's look at the first part of our greeting, Hajime mashite. This word can be translated to mean nice to meet you. We can also think of it as being a Japanese word for hello, but it's important to remember that hajime mashite can only be used the first time we meet someone. In fact, the hajime in this word literally means beginning. This is a long word, so let's try splitting it into smaller sounds. Listen and repeat after me. Ha, ji, me, ma, shi, te. 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 In the next part of our greeting, the speaker says their name followed by des. Des is essentially the Japanese word for to be. Depending on how it is used, it can be translated as is, am, or are. Also notice that though the word is spelled desu, the ending u sound is underpronounced. Uh, this is done with several other words that end in su in Japanese as well. Let's try using this phrase with my name. My name is Roger. Now, because not all of the sounds in my name are available in Japanese, the closest Japanese equivalent of my name would be Roja. So, our sentence becomes Roja des. And the final part of our introduction, Dozo Yoroshiku. Dozo Yoroshiku literally translates to please take care of me or please look after me. But we can think of this as meaning something along the lines of, it's nice to meet you. Again, this phrase is pretty long, so let's break it up into smaller sounds. Listen and repeat after me. Do, zo, yo, ro, shi, ku. Do, zo, yo, ro, shi, ku. Do, zo, yo, ro, shi, ku. Dozo Yoroshiku. If you feel like trying out another introductory phrase, you could say Yoroshiku Onegai Shimas. This has more or less the same meaning as Dozo Yoroshiku and can be used at the end of our greeting instead. Again, if we break this up into smaller sounds, we get Yo Ro Shiku Onegai Shima. Su. Yoroshiku onegai shimas. But of course, self introductions are a two way street. Now that we've introduced ourselves to someone else, we would expect them to introduce themselves to us. If we look at how this conversation would go in English, their dialogue would go pretty much the same way as ours. But at the end, instead of saying, nice to meet you, they might say, nice to meet you too. Similarly, in Japanese, instead of saying, dozo yoroshiku, they might say, kochira koso dozo yoroshiku. We already know what dozo yoroshiku means, but let's look at this new phrase, kochira koso. Kochira koso literally translates to something like, I am the one who should say. So, if we say, kochira koso dozo yoroshiku, that translates to, I am the one who should say, please take care of me, or I am the one who should say, it's nice to meet you. We can also think of this as meaning, it's nice to meet you too. And if we break this into shorter sounds, we get, ko, chi, ra, ko, so. 
ko chi ra ko so ko chi ra ko so ko chi ra ko so so if we say this phrase all together we get ko chi ra ko so dozo yoroshiku or if the other person greeted us by saying yoroshiku onegai shimas we would respond with Kochira koso yoroshiku onegai shimas. Now let's take a quick look at how a self introduction between two people might play out. Hajime mashite. Roja des. Dozo yoroshiku. Hajime mashite. Takashi des. Kochira koso dozo yoroshiku. So now that we've learned how two people would introduce themselves, let's learn how to ask for someone's name directly. In English, I might ask, what's your name? And the person would respond by telling me what their name is. Uh, in my case, I would say, it's Roger. In Japanese, we might start by asking, onamae wa? And the person we were talking to would respond by stating their name and then saying dis. Let's look at our first phrase in this exchange. Onamae wa. Namae is the Japanese word for name. O is a prefix that can be added to the beginning of some Japanese words. When O is added to the beginning of a word, usually it's a sign of politeness or respect. Oftentimes, you would add O to the beginning of something that belongs to someone else, but not to something that belongs to yourself. However, this rule is not universal. When O is added to the beginning of namae, the word becomes onamae. If we break this word down into shorter sounds, we get O, na, ma, e. O, na, ma, e. Onamae. So our full question is, Onamae wa? In truth, Onamae wa is the shortened version of a full question. A full question sentence in Japanese might look something like, Onamae wa nan desu ka? Nan in Japanese means what? Des, as we already learned, is the Japanese version of to be and can mean is, are, or am, depending on the sentence it's used in. Ka is a short word that is added to the end of a sentence to make it a question. So while the full sentence would be onamae wa nan desu ka for what is your name, the shortened version onamae wa is understood to be a question. Think of it as saying your name is in English. Now let's look at a quick demonstration for how you could ask someone's name in Japanese. Onamae wa Takashi desu. Next, let's take a look at some greetings that you might use with other people on a day-to-day -day basis. In America, it's normal to ask how your friends and coworkers are doing when you see them, and Japan is no different. In English, an exchange like that might go something like are you doing well? Yes, I am. In Japanese, we could say, O genki desu ka? Hi, genki desu. Let's look at our first sentence, O genki desu ka? In Japanese, genki means healthy or well. As we've already learned, adding O to the beginning of some words can show respect or politeness. So, if we add O to the beginning of Genki, it becomes O Genki. Ka is a type of short word called a particle. In this case, Ka can be added to the end of a sentence to turn it into a question. So, altogether, O Genki desu ka means, are you well? Now, let's look at our partner's response. Most likely, they would say something like, Hi! Genki des. In Japanese, hi means yes. So, all together, hi, genki des means yes, I am healthy or yes, I am well. But what if we wanted to say that we weren't doing well? 
Now, normally in Japanese, this is not done. If someone asks how you're doing, you should say you're doing well, even if you're not feeling great. But for the sake of argument, let's say we wanted to. We could use the word ie, which means no in Japanese. Our full sentence would be ie genki ja arimasen, which means no, I am not well. If we break arimasen into shorter sounds, we get a, ri, ma, se, n, a, ri, ma, sen, arimasen. Now let's look at a quick demonstration of what we've learned. O genki desu ka? Hi, genki desu. Now we'll practice some shorter greetings, starting with Ohio. Ohio means good morning. O ha yo. Ohio. Ohio gozaimasu. Ohio gozaimasu also means good morning, but it's more formal than just saying Ohio by itself. O ha yo go zai ma su. Ohio gozaimasu. Konnichiwa. Good afternoon. Ko n ni chi wa. Konnichiwa. Konbanwa. Good evening. Ko n ba n wa. Konbanwa. Before we finish up this lesson, we're going to learn a few more key words and phrases that we might use on a daily basis in Japan. Shitsureishimasu. Shitsureishimasu literally translates to, I'm about to be rude, but we can think of it as meaning, excuse me. This is a phrase that you often say before entering or exiting a room in Japan, and it's accompanied by a bow. Shitsureishimasu. Shitsureishimasu. Oyasumi. Good night. O ya su mi. O ya su mi. O ya su mi nasai. O ya su mi nasai also means good night, but is more formal than just saying o ya su mi. O ya su mi nasai. O ya su mi nasai. Sayonara. Sayonara means goodbye, but it's not the kind of thing that you would say if you're just saying goodbye to a friend that you're going to see tomorrow. Sayonara tends to imply that you're not going to see the person you're talking to for a very long time. Sayonara. Sayonara. Ja mata. Ja mata also means goodbye, but unlike sayonara, it is not formal, and we can use it when we expect to see someone again soon. Broken down literally, ja means then or well, and mata means later. So we can also think of this phrase as meaning, see you later. Sumimasen. Sumimasen means I'm sorry or excuse me. Su mi ma se n. Sumimasen. Gomen. Gomen is the informal version of I'm sorry. Gomen nasai. Gomen nasai is less formal than saying sumimasen, but more formal than just saying gomen by itself. It also means I'm sorry. San. San can be added to the end of someone's name to show respect. It can roughly be translated as Mr., Miss, or Mrs. in English, but again, it can be used at the end of people's names even if they are not adults. Sensei. 
Sensei means teacher. It can be used as a word by itself, but it can also be added to the end of someone's name. For example, Tanaka Sensei would mean Professor Tanaka. And that's it for this lesson. See you in the next one. Ja, mata.